teamed up for the first time at the start of this season. It's been a, a very profitable partnership so far. Let for some. you watch this match, Fentanyl. you'll see Barty is the most natural volleyer out there. She's the most comfortable at the net, moving around the soft, very soft hands. And you're going to see all four of them using different formations on, on the serve. The net person, both teams have been moving those formations around all tournament. And we've also Fantastic. seen from both these teams, both the return teams have been staying back a lot, trying to put the pressure on the server, giving themselves that, that better court vision to make that return. And you'll see that all four pretty much are going to serve and stay back on the first serve. striking by both players and you watch Barty here she knows that Mertens is is making that move and she's got to keep her honest at the net and takes that chance and catches her going down the line there and they're beautifully done from first serve from Barty yeah, nicely first game combined good job on serve from Ash Barty they won the Rome title on clay the first title as a pair that's uh, around mid May time for the Talico. So, maybe Sammy's in Miami, of course. Barty won the singles there, so very good stay in Florida for the Australian. Last 16 Roland Garros, last 16 Wimbledon, and the semis in Toronto during the US Open series. But it seemed to gel nicely. That, that contrast in style seems to work well. Right. You've, got the bigger, you've got the big hitter in, in Azarenka and not as good a volleyer, but a good volleyer above the net, not below the net, where Barty's so good below the net also. Got a good idea of the power of Sabalenka. If you haven't seen her play too much tennis, she doesn't hold back. Not a ton on nuance, but what she does in terms of power. Fantana. Her power enables her partner at the net, Mertens, to move a lot, to, to threaten at the net, and, and it's Mertens' job when Sabalenka is serving to get in the head of the returner. So the returner doesn't know where am I going to move, which way am I going? If you're the returner Fortunately. and your your opponents are are playing eye formation or the modified eye, you should just pick a spot. You pick a spot. You decide where you're going to return, and and if they cross that way, if your return is decent enough, you're still going to be able to handle it. And just like that. That's what makes Azarenka so dangerous, such a good returner. A couple of nice forehands up the line so far, Barty. And those are two instances where you're not worried about where the net person is going. You, you pick your target. If you hit it, you're going to be in good shape. 
second game, Nathan Sabalenka. So Sabalenka coming One through. One game all for sets. Her opening service game. It's new territory, isn't it, for Mertens and Sabalenka? You'd imagine it might take them a little bit longer to settle down today. They probably watched the women's final. Victoria Sabalenka saw Sabalenka. What, what Andrescu did yesterday. First time ever in a slam final. Seemed like there wasn't a care in the world for her, and maybe they'll, they will approach it and look at it that way. I guess the bonus for a doubles team is not quite so lonely not, out yes. there, is it? <laughs> if the crowd is against you, you at least have each other. It's important. It's an element of any successful doubles team, that chemistry. It's uh, another element that Azarenka and Barty seem to bring to the court. They seem to enjoy themselves. It's important. Very nicely done. And Certainly. And the Azarenka serve is as we've watched her come back since having her son Leo and, and some of the trouble she has, she has had on the court has been with her serve, has been with the second serve, really doesn't have a kick serve, pretty flat. And watching how she serves today is going to be critical. And her consistency on serve will be critical. It's a nice body serve to wrap up the third. You just got a good look at the shadow. That's the one issue on the court. The side Mertens is serving on has that shadow over Ash. And loved it. And, and you talked about the two Belarusians playing. Sabalenka and Azarenka. That's another dynamic out here on this court. No doubt about it. The little kid beat the big kid. Sabalenka coming through against Azarenka. Sort of volley midway through the points. No, not a I would call Barty the best all around tennis player in women's tennis. Just the absolute complete game, comfortable everywhere on the court. Beautifully timed. And we, we talk about. Barty, the slice backhand, but there steps in and timed that return beautifully off the two-hander. Took it early. Three chances here for the number eight seeds. And they go from the I formation back to classic for the second serve of of Mertens. And you see the posture of Azarenka. Oh, she's so good on that backhand yeah, side. Azarenka Azarenka. Just hitting through that ball. Azarenka and Barty need three games to one for sets. Early breakthrough then for Azarenka and Barty. USOpen.org is the place to head for all the tournament information. Live scoring over there, stats, draws. Today's schedule, the final day of the last major of the season. Player interviews, news. Open dot org. Oh, what a backhand volley. I think so Tony had the best volley out here. <laughs> that was incredible. She looked like Tony, a right-handed Tony Roach there. That was just beautifully done. And nice wide serve. And look at Azarenka. Just a little flick of the wrist every day.
50. Use the power. Paying off eventually. I mentioned the Indian Wells and Miami titles for Hilton's and Sabalenka. The Czech pair, Krachikova and Siniakova, who were the top seeds in the final in the desert in California. As we went to the semis in Miami a couple of weeks later. Six and five. It was a tight one, though. Interesting to see. Do they play classic formation on the serve? Are they going to serve Mertens and do a little eye here? Break back points. Modified eye. And they'll go back to classic. Game. So double Nine faults. Hands. So back on serve midway through this first set. 2 3. See Azarenka moving in now after that first serve. And you quite often see that. I love it. The two players may play back on return, first serve, but feel more confident in that return on the second serve that they can do some damage. Partner goes in, looks to cross, looks to help at the net. Those are just some really Big serves from from Sabalenka. They are so powerful. I mean, that's that's what caught the eye of of the tennis world as she was bursting onto the scene. Her seeing her power, that big serve of hers. Yeah, it was from around midway through 2018, yep. wasn't it? Yep, and toward the end of the summer, and she came into this U.S. Open a year ago. People thinking she might be the one to break through. Oh, she's so good, Barty. Just that, that sense of the net, that you. feel. Just so naturally done. Okay, I'm going to finish it off with two hands, with my top hand on the top of the throat. That's where you want to finish off a point. If, if you're a doubles player or a singles player, as we saw Taylor Townsend against Halep finishing points off at the on top of the net. It's a good feeling. Initially from Barty, but just couldn't quite just. control the final backhand. And, and very smart volleying there, just right up the middle, didn't give Azarenka or Barty any angle.
good move from Azarenka this time. Uh, and all the way around, and, and you, you saw Azarenka before the point started, where she was standing. She was trying to intimidate Sabalenka's serve, and, and you stand close to the line. What you're saying is, okay, can, can you hit it up the tee? I'm going to be right here. So you're try, trying to pretty much convince that player to serve wide. Hitting. Just well, that was anything you can hit, I can hit harder. <laughs> I watched you growing up. You were my idol. I saw how hard you hit. Look at me now with Sabalenka and Azarenka. Two great points saved in this game. Ooh, almost jumped over. Advantage, Sabalenka. It's a nice idea, though, isn't it? Just using that slice, giving Sabalenka a slightly different look if she can keep that approach nice and low. Not quite so easy to create that kind of power, is it, from three or four inches off the ground? Again, Martins, Sabalenka. Three games on first set. Played well under pressure there, Sabalenka. You mentioned quality of her tennis from midway through 2018. She won uh, New Haven, which is not too far away from the venue here, of course. Wuhan, that was a Premier 5 event in Asia. Won a tournament at the start of the season. It seemed to be the relationship with Dmitry Tursunov, didn't it? Really took off. I think they got together around the grass season. Early summer 2018. And it's been an eventful week, Lisa. Yes, it's been keeping track. I have. <laughs> Tursunov and Dimitri and, and Arena. It, it's been a little dramatic. A little little dramatic in terms of are we going to stay together as coach and pupil it's the 15 -0. yeah they announced that they'd split earlier this week that was a piece on the WTA website which looked official and we've had a few updates via social media. The headline, I guess, is he's still here. Yeah, and, and look, they had such great percent. success together last year, and now this year her her results have been a little more topsy turvy. So, and we've seen in women's tennis that that there have been so many coaching relationships that player coaching relationships that that haven't worked out, and you hope for them that it does because they did have really nice success. And that was a nice return. Center. Half chance here for the number four seeds. Just inside the double sideline. Thought the coaching situation. One thing I would like to see, you know, over these these next couple of years is that these players staying with the, that there be more consistency. And there's just been a whole lot of coach hopping around. If you have some consistency, you're going to have ups and downs. But for the most part, quite often it, there will be success. Game Azarenka and Barty. Azarenka and Barty survive a slightly tricky game. Azarenka, four, three. Barty, four games to three in first set. Perfect playing conditions today. Men's final underway. Love it. 4 p.m. local time. That's around two and a half hours time, of course. Nadal up against 
Medvedev, Bianca Andreescu crowned ladies champion yesterday. Robert Farah, Juan Sebastian Cabal, the Colombians won the men's doubles. That was Friday. She kept that ball low and forced Azarenka to volley up, not as comfortable volleying up. And yeah, the Cabal and Farah, goodness me, establishing themselves as the best team in the world this year. Such success. Yeah, Wimbledon champions, the Colombians, what a summer they've had. Incidentally, Jamie Murray, Bethany Matic Sands, they were the mixed champions. For Jamie, that's what? Four years in a row, he's yeah. won, a, won a, a, a title here in New York. I think he should move. Thirteen for ten. You see the positioning here of of Sabalenka, she's right in the middle of the court. She's saying, it's going to be hard to get this by me. Oh. That's one of those returns you so apologize for, but the, side. The faux apology, as I've <laughs> always called it. I mean, you pretend to mean it. You don't, but it's, it's protocol. Could be big. Guess I'm back to 30 all here. And look where Azarenka is standing, trying to intimidate the, the serve of Mertens there. A great job from Mertens because what that, that when you see just that little the space up, up the line, up the middle, it, it's difficult to serve in there. And, and she did a nice job of kind of getting it toward the body of, of Barty. So first eight games are shared. Four games or four sets. After 28 minutes. Break, now, break a piece. I must say, the players are more polite now because when we were playing and if someone really stood that close to the, to the line there, the server kind of said, okay, I'm just going to hit you. <laughs> and, and he saw that many times, which would be totally legal or at least send a little signal you're going to stand that close i'm going to i'm going to send it over towards you it's far a bit of a warning shot yeah. I mean, you, you just give them a little warning okay <laughs> now easier to do on the first serve because you're more willing to give away a first serve not as easy on the second Just a beautiful serve from Barty there. Fortuna. Finding the wide one, and you just see how much these two really like each other. And that's been a big part of that partnership. Everyone loves Ash Barty. Everyone wants her as their partner. Again, that's that's some fine time. serving. Serving to stay in this first set, 4-5.
really nice Fifth pick up from Sabalenka. A little half volley that was could have been very awkward. Handled it beautifully. Set it up. Just using the pace that Sabalenka gave her on that first serve. From Barty oh initially. my gosh, that's handling the moment. Look at Barty, the stretch, and Sabalenka. Love the way she kept moving forward. Watch how she keeps moving forward. Little two, both hands on the racket with that volley, but terrific balance. Really high quality. Yes, and that's the move you've got to make. And someone hits as hard as Sabalenka. She's pretty Western on that forehand, and you're gonna, you might get some balls above the net, and that's just what Azarenka got there. From Sabalenka to hold for five apiece. Five games on 111 on that that first serve, and in doubles, 111 is a huge serve. Belgian that time, nice early return. Enjoyed the best run in the singles of these four players here in New York. Made the quarterfinals before losing a three setter to the eventual champion, Andriescu. 3 6 6 2 6 3. So set up on the, the young Canadian. We get a look at the signals saying. Whether she's going to go, where she, whether she's going to stay. Oh, and again, Barty on the volley. That's so much pace coming at you from Sabalenka. Keeping them in that point. Right here, she keeps them in, and then it's Azarenka finishing it off with that 
incredible backhand angle. That's what you call teamwork. Let for serve. That's an actual ball kid. We see a lot of ball men. And <laughs> sometimes you look up and a 35 year old. There's a ranker digging deep. Game 11. Seeing some pretty big 14, returns 15. from Sabalenka and from Mertens against the serve of Azarenka, which doesn't come with as much pace. That first serve, 84 miles an hour. So for Azarenka, she's reliant on on Barty to to move around at the net and on her own ground strokes. Of tennis, Mertens and Sabalenka get themselves back into this game. Second serve to attack. Second serve. Advantage seven. Created an opportunity just the right time. Five, six, five. And Sabalenka again in six games to five at first set. So all eyes on the Belgian, Elise Mertens, serving for this first set. played on Drescu. First set of that match that she won, she serves so beautifully. First serves. Oh, it did well there. It was easy to readjust Love it. She served beautifully in that first set, but then the first serve went a little awry, and she's much more vulnerable in the second serves like most players, but Mertens especially. So an interesting game here. If she gets those first Lens. serves in, it's going to be tough to break. If not, 
gives her opponents that chance. Deep return from Azarenka. Barty doing the rest, and very quickly, Merton's in trouble. And then three points. They have a second serve as a team in this first set. And that's a nice rally from Mertens because the forehand to forehand matchup favors Ash Barty. There we go. Just at the right time. your first ace. The exchange. Milton's finally drawing the error. 17 shots. Brings up set point. for moving there. You've got to make your presence known at the net, but terrific job from Azarenka seeing, seeing her make that move and going up that line, kind of catching her. She's staying in tight to that net and rewarded there, just firm on that volley, giving them the second set point opportunity. Should do for a first serve here. And they're staying, they're staying eye formation. to the backhand I'm crossing it looks like we'll see
so second, second set. set. Ashley Bartosar. About to get underway. This title decider on the final day of the final major of the season. Azarenka and Barty looking to turn this one around now. Mertens and Sabalenka will be hoping that history is repeating itself. Remember, they played in the semis in Miami earlier this season. That was in the spring. Won that one 7 6 7 5. So another tight set that's gone their way. Oh. Good. She can just hit through anything, can Sabalenka, and her power made a huge difference in that opening set. Quite often in doubles, it, it's finesse. It can be finesse how you navigate the net, but it's her power. Yeah, by and large, it's been controlled power as well. Third she third. hasn't been. You know, she, the, the power she's gener generating off the ground is a sight to behold at times, but she hasn't been too day. wild. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's right on cue. <laughs> Who's that? McEnroe ball? I'm not sure. I'm sure Borg's hair was that wild. Bjorn on a bad day. <laughs> Wind and humidi humidity. <laughs> Big first game this. Swung at that one. Yeah, and the weaker link at the net, and Azarenka doesn't move around a lot enough in terms of crossing and and maybe helping Barty out on some of those those returns. I imagine she's going to step in and crunch this return. There we go. Again, it's a pretty good idea going second. up the middle. And in a mischief break of serve for Mertens and Sabalenka. One thing you can say for Barty and Azarenka, they've been down before in this event. And they fought back, so they're nothing new to scratching and clawing in this U.S. Open served them well has gotten them here to this final it's going to be important for them to just work to get a break back rather quickly yeah set and 4-2 down against the French Open champions Babos and Ladenovic turn that one around saved a match point in the second round enough with the volley below the net here's where she struggles and for Sabalenka it's easy pickings in the end she's been impressive today and for Sabalenka Set hasn't up. had the single success this year that she had in, in 2019 that she had in 2018 but you just have to believe that that all the success she's having in doubles, all these wins, it's ultimately going to help her in terms of the singles, in terms of the confidence. Yeah, it was top ten, number nine, in fact, in February singles rankings. Oh, I thought she'd made another there. Just drops outside 13, the top 15. ten now. If you're Barty and, and Azarenka, you've got to hope that she cools down and wait for that opportunity. Oh. 
40-15. Well, the win she had before the U.S. Open last year, she couldn't even defend the points for Sabalenka in Connecticut. Couldn't defend because that tournament is no longer. 14 Yeah, will be top 10 in the doubles rankings. And they are published tomorrow. Be as high as six if they get it done today. They will qualify for the year end championships if they win today as well. It's another nice boost. to Shenzhen as it's known. Switching from Singapore to Shenzhen, the year-end event on the WTA calendar this season. Of course, it's going to move from London to Turin on the men's side in the next couple of years. For the women. And we get a look at Dmitry Tursanov, coach of Sabalenka, back on again coach. Very good player in his own right in his career. Some turnaround. Looking good for a set and two love there. One game on second set. There's Arenka and Barty doing a fantastic job. Turn that second game around. Azarenka, that first serve, right at the body, Barty there to pick it up, pick it off. Oh, that's just gorgeous for Barty, and you've got to take some of these chances. That's your responsibility as the net person, and if you're a volleyer of the caliber that that Barty is. If you get past, that's too good, but there's a good chance you're you're gonna do something special. Fortunately. Nine points in a row. So a slightly different feel to this second set all of a sudden. It'll be an upper break. They're down 1 2 now, Merton Savalenka. We saw her make one of those high backhand flick volleys earlier as a Renka. Couldn't pull it off again there. Oh. When Merton does it. get that first serve in, it's very effective. It's got a really nice service motion.
third to pretend. Forty for ten. You should have caught from bar two, the initial chip up the line and then switching direction. <laughs> Game, night and seven again, new boss place. Two games all the second set. So two apiece in this second set, the fourth seeds, Mertens and Sabalenka, upper set. USOpen.org, remember, is the place to go for all the tournament information. You can also download the US Open app for score stats, highlights, player news, celebrity sightings and more. That's available in the App Store and Google Play Store. Finals around the grounds today. Men's final on this court later today. Rafa Nadal taking on Daniel Medvedev. Nadal going for number 19 this afternoon. Medvedev is very team. first. Junior finals on the uh, the outside courts as well. Wheelchair finals too. Busy last day. And it's a great day just to even have a grounds pass. Even if you can't get into the main stadium, you can see some great juniors, some incredible wheelchair tennis. That's a, a nice serve from Barty, who is serving with new balls here. And when you're the server and you've got new balls, you, you've got that advantage. Terrific reflexes and Sabalenka just looking looking across the net saying if, if, <laughs> if you can if you can volley that back then that's just too good. play how she keeps you off balance and you see the smile from her but then steps it up with the forehand and 40 15 to just keep their nose in front after going down the break early after ash lost her opening service game oh. Very much in the balance, this one. Oh. How's this, Elise, for, for a nice PR yeah. before the final as well? Uh, not just on social media, Arena Sabalenka and uh, two of her team, Dmitry Tursunov. We've seen pictures of him and Jason Stacey. They hid 30 tickets for this match around Manhattan and then put some clues up on uh, Instagram, I think it was. Fans go out there and find the tickets, have a great day for the tennis, and they get more support as well. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it, was very, it was smart, it, it was definitely strategic, but 
but what a great idea and how much fun. And I don't think those people are thinking they're getting into the getting in to see the Nadal final, but they they, they will get in the grounds pass, everything else is going on in the the can, can get into this women's doubles final. I love that idea. A few of those will be dotted around the arena. And love that return from, from Barty there. Doesn't doesn't get to see too many of the Sabalenka serves sit up, so when it did, she took advantage. for her life up there at the net. <laughs> That's just, you know how athletic that is? That's just incredible hands from Barty, but Sabalenka, what we've seen so many times, she just keeps moving forward and takes it to you. And there the ace. One of the things I would have liked to have seen was as Arenka, who hit a good backhand, returned that point, come in behind it, put different kind of pressure on him. <laughs> then you open it up for Sabalenka. So, so huge, and that again, 1-11. Three games on the second set. Was handling the moment and that pressure beautifully. Yeah, they're just starting to move into that. Well, what they will be hoping is the final phase of this match. Some ways it's not too far away now, just three games. If you're ten. Directing that serve to the Merton's forehand, which is going to give you more errors. <laughs> you do not want to keep giving this team look at second serves. Metan Sabalenka challenge a call on the right baseline. No challenge. No. Challenge cancelled. Set it. Cancel the order. She missed the ball, but she also broke the ball. <laughs> <laughs> With that one. I'm not sure I'd want to be looking along that baseline as the, uh, the line stretch did a, a great job there. Good service game so far. Fulton. Mentioned Barty's experience in the Grand Slam doubles finals. Azarenka's been here before as well on a, a number of occasions. Let for sir. Which is making her hungrier for this one because she's she's never won one in doubles. And you go back over a decade for her being in a Grand Slam doubles finals. And again, as I think it was a fine okay. service game. And the edge ahead. Still finely balanced. This women's title decider. 2019 U.S. Open. It's got a little bit vulnerable, Mertens, when she's missed the Love first serve. As Arenka and Barty will be viewing this as an opportunity. Love 15. Absolutely, and in the deuce court, especially when she misses the first serve, she's not as strong on the forehand side with that second reply, and you see Sabalenka 
I formation. Just a tremendous job from Azarenka biding her time with her groundies that point, and when she got that opportunity, took full advantage. Martin's under pressure, love 30. of a gap wasn't there yep and this game you've seen the advantages that there are when two players play back well together at the same time three break points first one disappears 15 footer See the the angst from from Azarenka missing that volley. Got to get right back at it with the return. Last chance. Oh, she has come through with some huge first serves when she's needed. Just did it in the last set. to save great points. Just and talk about handling pressure. You've got a second serve to one of the best returners in the game, Azarenka. And Barty's just probably smacking herself for leaving so early there. Advantage and Mertens. What a boost this would be to recover from Love 40. So four break points along the way. It's gonna stay I for this second serve. Move. Again, 
could be big. Four games all, second set. In, in tennis matches, there are momentum swings, and it could have been a huge swing if they'd gotten that break of serve. But what a job from, from Mertens coming through with some big first serves and boldness of Sabalenka moving there. Fetina. That's what you call hitting your spots with the serve and, and what Barty has done so well this year. Only 5-5 five, five hitting those spots on that first serve. Deep volley initially. We'll see if it's the aggressor who was rewarded in this match, and there it was Mertens. Mertens, Sabalenka trying to pull on the right of the line the in. Oh, Sabalenka just wants to make sure with a chase review. Not the biggest serve, but... Accuracy spot on and it's swinging as well, isn't it? Moving away from the return. Shots of the fans court side during the uh, sit down. Everyone enjoying themselves. Day 14, main draw action. As so we had Fan Week, the uh, newly renamed. We're preceding the main draw, qualifying action. Going on for fans in this part of the world. Amongst us to enjoy during the, the school holidays. Here in the US, free admission. It was a rousing success. I was getting texts from people, I'm coming out to qualify. Like, okay. Coming out for actually, they were using the word fan week. So it really caught on beautifully. Fortunately. For Sabalenka and Mertens just going about their business now, keeping this close. She's serving to stay in the set like it's nothing. And formulated, whether it's effective. Forty for ten. And pretty much bash the serve and then <laughs> bash that second one and. See where we land. <laughs> she's just, she's pretty amazing at <laughs> this, that. And for, for Sabalenka, it's harnessing that power. And as we get down to the stretch here, I think with her, it's not a, it's, it's not a thing of sh her holding back. It's will she get over anxious and over hit. Some second serve to level us at five apiece. Five games on second set. Tantalizingly close. Number four seeds. It'll be a third title of the season. First Grand Slam trophy for these two. Qualification for the year end finals as well.
15 left. Definitely has a Renka there with Mertens coming in, which is a good idea, but handled beautifully by Azarenka, keeping that ball low. in awkward position had to come in but now she really needed to cover that that cross court there or inside out or however you want to call that forehand from Sabalenka which was just so good oh. so sweet and it's always nice to 30 for 10. see the touch and the nuance that Ash Barty does bring to the tennis court. Does that look very straightforward. Just angling the racket face. Of course, it's not straightforward, though, is it? And that ball's fourteen with a fraction of a second Correct. to decide what you're going to do and. Make sure the coordination is all working in uh, in sync. Fortunate, but still good reactions to get a racket on this. Yes, this is the modern day version of doubles, and it's just being executed beautifully. Tom Valishan, morning, Asaranga. Went down. Well, just a different feel to this game all of a sudden. Got to deal with the time violation and the quality of that return. And you can see the clock. You're the server. You you know when you're pushing it. of a mess you could uh, see it the ball was dropping and she chose to hit the overhead and now for Azarenka got to calm down yeah I just wonder whether the time ballet she yep. just rattled her slightly she took her by surprise didn't it great point Sometimes surprising what a difference that first point can make when you're trying to finish off a big set or a match or this type. In this case, a grand slam. That's a good response. It's 15. First serves higher on the agenda. <laughs> Oh. 
Dirty. She took the pressure on. She came in and just bad luck with that net cord. Right here. Oh, she's got to be thinking, are you kidding me? Don't kill me. Goodness me, she would have been delighted to see that pop up. Wouldn't she? Oh. Eyes lit up. Two points away. I'd love to see a, a tennis professional heart rate monitor graphic on the screen right now, Elise. So true. And you're putting more pressure on yourself with that second serve, your partner playing eye formation. Don't have as much margin putting that ball in the court. Oh. One more. 14 seconds. Especially that last point, they kept themselves in it. 